How you doing YouTube? It's been a while. <laughs> Good few months, isn't it? Lockdowns have been a bit weird. Well, the last video I did, I think, was um, when I broke the GoPro lens. Obviously, you can see that I've changed it. I got a cheap one from um, abroad somewhere. It was cheap as chips and changed it myself. So, um, yeah, the GoPro lives again. So, yeah, that was a while ago. I'm trying to keep the, the sun off the lens. But today is going to be a lot of talking. Um, and I've come out, but I'm not going to stay here. I'm at the back of Lawley, New Works in, um, in Telford. Just up there is the top of the Reekin. And that's where I did one of my walks um, in those woods. And I've been a few times in those woods uh, bushcrafting. Just, But I didn't film it. I just wanted some time out, you know what I mean? Do the... Do the caveman thing and just have a big blowout and not worry about filming or editing and all that palaver. Because it takes time, you know, well, as you know, if you do it yourself. Um, but anyway, we're camping out in the car and it's something I've been researching during lockdown and um, I've got a Skoda Octavia Mark II and I've measured it out and got a bed and proper lying flat, so yeah. Why not? I've watched some videos of people in America living in their cars and some in the UK to be fair, but I don't, I don't feel the need to live in my car. Um, so this is not what this is about. This is about camping in the car. <laughs> camping, not living. So we've, I'll show you the mods later. So there's a lot of talking of, of what I've done and how I've made it. And um, tonight I'll be pretty much testing it out. But no, it's only uh, 20 to 12. So I've come out and I want to test, well, have a go with the electrical system, electrical system that I've got in the car. Um, I'll have a go with the radios, the CBs, bit of PMR, bit of two meters. So I've got more kit in this car. I've got laptops, everything. Um, but why rough it? And because I'm in the car, I can pack whatever I want. Um, so yeah. So that's 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 the video for today. So if you're not interested, then just switch off and do something else. So the first mod, I call it a mod. It's just some I've knocked up to make things life a bit easier, working or sleeping or I don't want to say living in the car, but staying in the car for a day or two um, is a, a table. Um, well, I say table. It's a bit of plywood which was left over from the bed, which I'll show you later. Um, I've PVA'd the ends and PVA'd some of the top and put some uh, Ari Black masking tape or fibre tape around the sides so they don't get splinters everywhere. And what I've done is screwed on a fencing post, which is a leftover from the bed, which again, I'll show you later. And it's just the right height. Leave my phone out the way for the fence post to sit in the base of the seat and I got a table and it's flat and I can I'm planning to put the trangier on here and cook some brews up um, so I might do that next and put a brew on and then get one of the radios out um, and do that so I just got one of these non-slip mats I wanted it to be universal to sit on the back seat you can't see, really see the back seat because that's my solar panel um, lying on the back seat. But the back seat's not as um, deep, so the table's quite a, you know at an angle. That's uh, an exaggeration, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. Just a simple table. What a beautiful day, beautiful. But I show you how much crap I've brought with me. The boots flipping full of kit. Um, but while I'm out here, what I did get is some of these um, Hiko wind deflectors. And they just stick on the inside. And what they do is you can, they're tinted. So the plan is during the night is to drop the window down a little bit and I'll have a gap um, for ventilation. But then people won't be able to see that my window's open. Um, but also there's another use for it. 
later, but I'll show you later if I remember. I haven't got any for the front yet. So I'm just waiting. Um, they're on order. Look, that's quite good. So I'll be interested to see how they work later. Right, let's dig out the Trangier and get a brew on. Just coming up to uh, a bloom. Man, it heats up the car for a bit quick. Fire safety and enclosed spaces. I got the window open. Um, but it's probably overkill for the bigger Trangier, but I bought the bigger Trangier to cook my tea with tonight. So I think the smaller one would have coped. Let's put the kettle on there. If it was raining, um, this is where the wind deflectors would come into their own because you can drop the wind down and you're still protected from the rain and stay dry. As I say, I've got to get wait for the for the front ones. But yeah, it's quite important to vent because it's a small space and we've got, you know, naked flame. So just be careful if you're doing this in a confined space. The beautiful thing about a Trangia, as we all know, is you can put it on surfaces and it's not going to uh, heat up the surface that it's on. So I've just made the brew. Obviously the kettle's going to be uh, warm. But that is is cold there's no heat there whatsoever so that's the beauty thing about uh Trangier. so yeah the only thing is i've got nowhere to put my brew the cup holders don't um the round hole don't fit the square peg <laughs> the square cup anyway stop waffling enjoy the views so I'm not sure what you'll pick up because it's, it's a bit windy up here but on the top of the car on the roof bars I've got a hundred watt monocrystalline is that if I said that right or a hundred watt solar panel with the power cables ignore this this is just the uh, radio antenna so power cables running down into the boot I haven't plugged them in yet we've got a leisure battery in the boot wired up to the solar panel control box so the power in the battery is 12.8 volts and uh, when I plug the solar panel in just with these plugs into them two we'll see what power we get so the control panel now is you can see that the solar panels charging the battery I've got loads of cable I don't want to chop it down because I want to save it because I can use this system elsewhere in the house yeah now the battery's up to 13.4 I think it's about 13.6 7 7 and 8 I think 8 is a cut off I could be wrong it's still going up 13.7 Yeah, and I think that's where it stops there. It stops putting any more power in. Um, it's a lead acid battery. I've had it uh, a while now, probably over two years. Um, yeah. And I have got some fuel line. And what the fuel line is for is because when you're charging, um, lead acid batteries you get some nasty fumes or you can get some nasty fumes so on the vent on the battery I'll just push on the um, this is uh, fuel fuel hose so it's pretty and then what I'll do is feed it through the car because what I can do is fold the, the cables round, put the boot down and then the hose drop this window down um, and with the wind deflector I can drop it down and then clamp the hose in the window and that vents the 
corrosive harmful gases that a lead acid battery gives off when you're uh, charging discharging because <laughs> what I don't want to do is not have that vent on there and then spark up the transier and then uh, big carbon but yeah I mean you can see it's not you know it's not full sun but I'm still getting the maximum out of the uh, the panel can run USBs off there so I mean it's not really free energy because you've got to pay the flipping battery to store the energy that you capture from your solar panel and I wouldn't drive with the solar panel on I'll just put these U-bolts on just to stop it blowing off um, and then I've bought a oh, let, let me take you inside one sec there you go so that's the, the system with all the doors shut now so the cables are just running through into the boot to the battery and then this is the the vent from the lead acid battery vent and the fumes while it charges outside of the car or the solar panel does its business so now i've got um, an electrics 12 volt system that's totally independent from the car um, that's topped up not continuously because I don't drive with the solar panel on the roof um, yeah so quite happy with that I had a bit of a downer the other day when I tried to plug in my laptop to well I ordered a 12 volt charger for my laptop but I can't find charger 12 volt that has sufficient amps for my laptop so i'm still searching so i'm using an inverter and to get technical and all this i've picked up you know while i've been off um the inverter i got was a modified sine wave sin wave and it just caused the laptop transformer to buzz and i was quite not happy with that so now I'm waiting for another inverter that's a pure sine wave which should eradicate that transformer on the laptop charger um, buzzing. So an inverter changes the voltage from 12 to 230 volts. And I'm not an electrician so don't ask me any electrical questions because I haven't got a flipping clue. Surprised I didn't blow myself up yet. <laughs> so we've moved on from the car park in Lawley, um, the works is it called in Lawley? Um, and we're up on top of the Long Mend. What a beautiful day. Just stunning. So another one of the mods that I've made or some that I've made to go over the windows to give me a bit of privacy at night uh, are these so these I've made up and basically what it is is Reflectix sandwiched by uh, blackout material so on the outside I've got black and on the inside I've got cream so I didn't want black on the inside and make it dark and gloomy so what I did is made a template of each, well, just of two of that with paper. And then once I got that size, I could then transfer it to that side, because obviously it's the same. Uh, and the same again with the front. And once I got the paper template sorted, um, with a bit of playing around with it, that took the time. He's then cut around the Reflectix. So four pieces um, and then with the blackout fabric I got some 3M sticky spray and sprayed the black onto one side and glue sprayed the contact adhesive for the other side and they're quite substantial I think in the winter they'll uh, insulate the windows really well and then um, I'll show you one in place and they just just pinch into the window so I'll set one up for you 
probably can't see it that well, but that's the the two in place. And it just looks like I've got tinted glass, to be honest, with the sun shining off it. But then on the inside, you got that cream, which kind of keeps it, you know, I mean, they're not perfect. There's a few gaps there, but the pros and cons to it are, is that it's total blackout. Nobody's going to be able to see in, but then the downside is you're not going to be able to see out. And also I'm going to lose the venting properties, venting properties, lose the vent if I under the window. I might get a little bit, I haven't tried it yet. So pros and cons for it. In the winter, it will help insulate, keep the car warm for a bit longer. But overall, I'm quite impressed. I'll be impressed to see. I got him speak. I'll be interested to see how it works later on and see how much light. Um, I can see a big gap there where I've messed up, but it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. What I'll do now is I'll um, show you how I set the bed up for a, a flat sleep. So clear some of the boot out. So this is the bed, so that's the single fence post I bought, which is just the right height to raise the plywood off to make it level. So I don't drop all the seats down. It's awkward trying to film and so this comes off totally. So that's loose. I'll just put that down there for the minute. I'm gonna have to put you down in a minute. And that's the bed done. That there is about six foot long. And it's, it's totally level. Well, give a few uh, millimetres between this and the seat. But yeah. So I haven't got to collapse both, the, both seats down. I'm not going to attach the, this, these fencing posts to this because there's no need to. Once I put my roll mat down and my airbed and my pillars down, that's it, sorted. I'm leaving the parcel shelf in place because what I'll do is I'll put my laptop on this and then once I'm lying in bed this is a nice little shelf for laptop drinks um, I've got a 12 volt fan there so I can move the heads so if it does get too warm I can put the 12 volt fan on and it'll um, keep me cool so I had a panic on the other day, I was inflating my sim mat, and I've had this for about four years now, the Xbird UL7, and it's a fantastic bit of kit, and I've had it a long time, and I want to keep having it a long time, but I was using this schnozzle, where is it, yeah, that end clips onto there, the inflate, I fill the bag up for over there and squeeze the air into the to the sim mat so you don't blow any warm air into it and get condensation and get it wet but I got a bit adventurous and I pressed too hard and it popped that green valve out into the bag and I was like oh man really gutted I was like oh I've just bust my bag how am I gonna inflate it because obviously you blow the air in and the valve's not there to to seal it shut as you're blowing it up I was like, oh, so I says, right, I'm gonna spend the day, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this. And I did, and I was like quite proud of myself. So this is me being proud of myself and patting myself on the back that I've fixed it. Um yeah, a lot of fishing around, a lot of tweezers. At one point it was a two-man job <laughs> to get that. It's still not in properly now. I don't wanna 
mess around with it too much because it's it's you know it's getting on a bit and um I don't want to break it anymore so hopefully that will seal as I blow air into it I'm hoping anyway yeah so that was a bit of a story yeah and it stayed fixed happy days so that's the uh, that's the mattress sorted Man, I'm so happy with this. Happier than the pig in a puddle. And the good thing about this is that I haven't moved the front seat. So if something goes peak tong, I can just get out and get into the driver's seat and we're away without minimal fuss. Okay, the solar panel's on the roof and I've cinched it down, but I haven't bolted it. But if I needed to drive off, that's not going anywhere. So yeah. Okay, so that's the power inverter. And the one end runs behind. Behind the seat. Into there, into a fused cigarette lighter. And that's the fuse and the crocodile clips. I've taken the the black one off um, the negative because I want the panel to get up to up to temperature so the panels slowly climb into 13.8 um, volt or the battery should I say and I've also got plugged in my fans uh, another cigarette lighter with a smaller crocodile clips Keep me cool. Yeah, so we'll plug the laptop in and see what happens. So the inverter's on. We've got a green light. And the panel's on. It's dropped down to 13.3 volts. So we see how that fares when we charge. Turn off. when we're charging the laptop up. But it's climbing back up now, so... Oh, it was. So it's hovering between 13.5. Oh, so it is plugged in. And it's on. So that's good. Happy with that. Because the, uh, the battery in the HP Omen is is dead and it's only died in the last few days so I need to um, order a new one and fit one. I can see one on Amazon that I want. It's just a case of buying it. It's about 50 quid. But for now I've got to run the laptop um, off mains. So the inverter has changed the current from um, 12 volt to 230 volt um, yeah and it's got the uh, USB chargers because I need to charge the GoPro because that's dying because I haven't used it for so long um, and the battery is vented I have got concerns about draining and charging the battery when I'm in bed but I think I'm gonna disconnect it all so there's no big bangs during the night taking me out with it so we'll um, just keep an eye on that but yeah so it should be totally safe with nothing going in it and nothing going out of it it's been in the car for two years so I shouldn't imagine it's going to go bang when there's nothing going in or out of it so yeah let's get a brew and um, something to eat so the fans just kicked in on the inverter because I switched the laptop on sorry about that sun um, and it's charging it but before on the previous inverter the, the transformer was buzzing like crazy yeah it's because it's um 
um, pure sign inverter it's not modified so I'm very happy with that very happy with that <laughs> what we on power wise okay so it's dropped down to 12.7 volts so we'll just keep an eye on that and see if it drains anymore or if actually the solar power itself solar panel itself can power the laptop without taking any power out the battery itself that'd be quite nice so I'm left with a full battery in the morning we shall see just keep an eye on the smell as well that um, starts smelling rotten eggs and it's time to run <laughs> yeah 12.8 happy days so it's um, a bit of a learning curve but the curve is going good so for privacy out the back I've showed you the you know the side blinds and I've got some velcro that I've stuck I mean it's not you know the best looking but it works for now until I can find a better solution I've got some blackout material the same blackout material I used on the the side doors and I just stuck some sticky velcro and this just velcros to that and that's it in place obviously once the doors shut all these loose ends just tuck in and uh, provides total blackout um, but obviously I'm gonna lose that that view but I'll leave it up for now so I can show you inside um, with it blacked out totally blacked out and you see the bed going under the under the parcel shelf the laptop on the shelf so when my head is here um, I've got some uh, some entertainment for tonight and the fan as you can see about the side ones are not perfect but they'll do uh, noisy sheep oh police have come up to see what we're doing anyway uh, so for tonight's tea we got chicken gel frazy out of a tin I'm being lazy because tonight is about um, testing and seeing what it's like to spend the night out in the car so maybe as we get uh, more experienced at this we'll do some cooking but I've noticed so far that space is an issue and I've brought too much kit <laughs> but anyway hey ho even for the car then that's saying something so chicken gel frazy and rice we'll get this party started I can find a lighter there it is and the horses have been all the ponies have been around all oh, they're up there now and they were sniffing and after food what a gorgeous day oh better put my food on what a beautiful day I think it would be I think it would be different if it was raining um, figuring out and organising things for when it's wet but as it is now happy days I was looking at um, the tents that you can get that you reverse in your car into or you put your put your car boot in but I've got plenty of tarps, I could just put a tarp up with two big poles, you know, if it is wet weather. So that's the blackout curtain on the front. It's not brilliant, but it's all right, it's not too bad. And pit. And that's my view, with the boot open feet under there 
yeah it's all right this isn't it so that's it now i've uh took the solar panel off the roof of the car uh come inside because the temperature's dropping quite a bit so it's half eight now and i've got the panel there so i don't want to leave it on the top because it's not secured down enough um there's two blokes in two camper vans next to me uh playing their music flipping heck i was hoping to come away and get a nice quiet spot somewhere so uh it is what it is isn't it but we're watching a bit of free view hd i've got the hd antenna on the roof um and the cable is just going through there so i'm watching a bit of um devon and cornwall with a cronenberg let's see if i can do this without blowing my laptop up and spilling beer on it cheers first night in the car now drinking alcohol in your car I believe if you're sat in the front of the car with the keys in the ignition even though your intention is not to go anywhere the police can do you for drink driving apparently so I mean, I've got obviously the car blacked out so nobody can see in. The keys are by me and um, obviously I'm not sat in the front. So um, talk about shooting yourself in the foot and putting this on YouTube and there's me sat in the front with the keys in the ignition. To get a knock off, the, knock on the front door from the old bill but no, it's not the case. I'm not going anywhere tonight. Um, just chilling out. Watching a bit of TV and see how it is in the. Uh... I've got the rub sleeping bag, so I'll just put that. Not that you can see anything. I'll just put the the rub sleeping bag over me. I won't bother getting into it. I've closed that window because there's no vent going out there. So it's quite nice with the white or the cream um, compared to having the black. It just brightens it up a bit. I've tucked that blind, oh, someone's texting me, into the side of the door, but I can't do that side. I probably could, but I can't be bothered. And then, um, I've got that window open slightly, and it feels quite okay, just with that open. So we'll see what it's like in the morning with the condensation. So I'll leave it there. And um, maybe do a bit later of filming, but um, I'll let you know what it's been like in the morning. But just lying here um, with my feet down into the boot, oh, you can't see anything. It's quite comfortable, and I'm quite happy with this. I can see how people could live in their cars and save yourself a fortune. But I can imagine after a week it'd be stinking. Right, stop waffling. See you later. Good morning. I slept reasonably well, to be fair. There's not a lot of room. Um, but, yeah. I'd do it again. Definitely. So, yeah, big thumbs up. So I'm just looking out the back window. The view. Had the um, sheep and the horses nudging the car in the morning, <laughs> thinking, "What the flipping hell's that?" Not the horses, the wild ponies. But um, I'll have a lie in for a bit. Just watch the views, and then put a brew on, and then get up. But yeah, quite happy. I mean, I'm fully fully stretched out now. So, it's just this parcel shelf here. There's not much room. When on my side, there's about that much gap. But, 
apart from that, big thumbs up. Oakley Doakley. So we'll call it a day there. We've packed up and the car's back to being a car. Um, so I don't want to do too many modifications to it because it's still a car, do you know what I mean? It needs something that I can take in and take out. But um, anyway, I'll leave you with the views and I'll see you on another adventure. Don't know where, don't know when, but sometime. Goodbye and God bless.